Give me one second to figure out what the heck I'm doing. I don't know where my camera is going to need to be for this, so I'm just going to raise it up to there because this is a visual novel, I believe. So here's a fun thing. Um, I've just decided to start uh, going through all the games that I have on itch. Um, Uh, that I have gone through and been like, yeah, I would play that. Anyways, the thing is, I don't remember what any of them is, so we're going into this blind. Also, I I feel better than I did uh, when I canceled the stream last week. However, uh, I got very hot on a bus on the way home and it caused motion sickness and so, you know, You guys, I have no idea what I'm doing. Neo San Francisco, 2064 AD. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. I just realized the microphone was very far away from me. Allow the repair and enhancement of almost any part of the human body. Millions of people jump into virtual worlds every day to work, play. With one another with advanced brain to machine technology. Easier access to genetic modification leaves hybrids walking the streets looking less human every day. However, some can't keep up with the fast paced changes around them. They say that ROMs, now commonplace thanks to Parallax, are leading humans to a place where we can never come back. Losing the survival skills that we have relied on for millennia. Relationship organizational managers are compiled with virtual intelligence and can seem human-like in their interactions. But despite the marketing hype, at their core, they are only brainless machines. Organizations like the human revolution seek to slow the relentless pace of progress Fearing that unchecked technology will make us lose the very things that make us human. I don't know why the Twitch notification is broken. Below, a parallax engineer has blurred the line even further. And with this, humanity's destiny will be altered forever. Okay. What do you mean you set up a notification? I don't know how you did that, so no, I have not changed it. So that is why it's broken. Yeah, we can fix it later. What is this? I don't know. Do I just... New game. Anyways, I never change the notification Neo because I'll San forget Francisco, to change it again. AD. Wait. The world thrives on a constant flow of groundbreaking technology. Cybernetic augmentation and genetic. So I didn't know that it was going to do the same thing as the load screen, so that's why I skipped that. I mean, Neo Yokio is great. Okay, maybe not so sweet. I don't know where I should put my camera.
I guess right there. I that seems to be the best place. Cause all the words are gonna be at the bottom. I figured I shouldn't hide the menu and items button, should I? Hmm. Musty might be a better what? An overlay sounds like a lot of work for the art department, which I am hesitant to ever join. What the fuck is this? Look at the sheet of paper. A single piece of loose, unsorted paper lies on the ground. Hey. Talk to the sheet. Page only holds the opinions of its author. This one is blank. Oh. Pick up sheet of paper. No, what? No, what? I want a piece of paper! Check like paper for your unpublished novel. Write a talk on paper. You just talked to me. Okay. Can I grab it? Pen on paper is the most tangible, but if you're gonna be sloppy, maybe. What? I am too much to do that. You may might go full digital if you're into it. What? Pair of GX Ultra Beats headphones. The ultimate is budget audio. You better try them out so you can start crafting your review. I'm gonna talk to them. Why can I talk to everything? They're enjoying my voice in high definition. Hell yeah, I finally successfully picked up an item. They're smart headphones, so you should be able to use them with some things lying around your apartment. Okay. Sink. Ooh, why? There's ooze in my, ooh. I'm gonna talk to the ooze. Yeah, that's fair. Running water it might just make it worse. Good, I want to make it worse. It's in the fridge. Video screen on the front says mustard half full. Spoiled milk 10 days past expired. Wait, that's cool. Talk to fridge. You're in the fridge. You need to pick up some more milk when you get out. Jots down milk on the list. Probably best just make a mental note and say you've had a vitamin R for life. What? I'm gonna touch it. You open up the fridge, see a bottle of mustard and a carton of spoiled milk, which has developed an odor. What? No, throw. Yes, I take the milk. Pick up every item you can. This is what I have learned from video games. Why, Ma? Your friend Hayden can shoot this game. Anyways, my boss's name is Hagen, and so that threw me for a little bit. Okay. Can I talk to the poster? Thanks for the tunes. Maybe one day it'll get released on the lips. Music. What? Touch it. It's a load bearing poster? Touch the poster and it begins playing. Oh. Hear the sink gurgling in high def. You can't possibly imagine that. <laughs> Alright, so spoiled milk and the ooze don't go together, apparently. Plant. Look at plant. This plant is in pretty bad shape. Is it supposed to be one of these? Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that feels real. Hey, plants react positively to conversation, but this poor thing- Okay. Touch it. Careful, the poor thing- Okay. I should not give it spoiled milk. It's not a good vibe. It's a vertical sliding window slide currently broken. Window being propped open by the book. Okay. Talk. I didn't want to talk to the plant. I wanted to talk to my window. There's no one out there. Touch the window. I'll keep the room. All right. Coffee. Look at it. Great equalizer. The porn rich like me to chug through the day. Was, I don't think that rich people, like it depends on the rich person, but like, 
You're telling me that Paris Hilton needs to chug coffee to get through her day? Nah, she can have like 13 naps if she wants. lost the hot tree a while ago. There's F and K seem clear as day. It's also really gross. I don't know if I'd rather be awake if I were rich. I've never been rich. I've only wanted to be asleep. Copy of Wigfield. Sometimes old books are the best, especially. Okay. With a book of pep talk. Now. If I touch it. Okay. Uh huh. What I. What's this? Look at bed. Home within your home. Nothing. Like, currently up under the blanket. I just meant article before you turn in. Or you don't have a place to sleep for long. I'm gonna talk to my bed. Okay. Look at door. Newly installed security door. Oh! If I touch it. It's like that, uh, it's like that TikTok meme. I should really finish my job. Good old Lappy. Mood. Looking pretty hot there, Lappy. Like, <laughs> yeah. All right, let's, let's write this review. Lappy is a bit of a relic. An article, do you know? Huh. Get work out of the way. Oh, wow. Big break, a review of some headphones. Time for bed, or? Sure, let's catch up on some new spam mail. Get cheap, get crash. Only 99 credits for 30 day supply. 212 cent, what's this? Ooh, rent. More scam mail. Where's this one? Princess Emma Thomas. The Horse Fortune. I love Horse Fortune. What? I've never received one of these scams before, but some people actually fall for it, and I don't know how. Some Vegemite! Wow! Oh, another bill. Past due! That's a lot of money. Cool, I'm... Food and, or electricity, what's this? Love reading characters' emails. No up and coming audio review feed looking for a hot talent. Uh -oh. oh, this is what I. Wow. Hassy? What do you, what do we think Hassy is? Keep on for five credits back on a Hassy Infinity. 
It's all of your daily calories with none of the nutrition. What? What? That's not what I thought it was going to be. I thought it was going to be like Hustler. What's this an invitation to? Invite to see the lighting ceremony of the Christmas tree downtown. Oh. It's dentist. Weekly update from VTech. Vintage Tech, your number one source of classic technology. A retrospect, okay. Model N keyboard? Yeah, let's unsubscribe. <laughs> Mood. That's what it feels like. Okay. Alright, okay, today. What's this? Current events article. Story about the human revolution. Means vigilant and stay human hashtag. Protest in upper market. Human revolution is on day 10 of their protesting outside various genus clinics around the city, including those in the East Bay and down the peninsula. Genus, the gene splicing treatment facility, has been met with much controversy since the organization reached mainstream exposure over the past few years. Genus employee Mort Crane spoke to OK Today explicitly. According to him, most genus workers are up in arms, claiming they're being terrorized in their own city. We're here to help people who need gene therapy for their own personal reasons, whatever they are, said Crane. Individual rights have always been part, been of paramount importance to us. We continue to believe that our customers have the right to live as they please or require. Human Revolution stands behind their claim that Genus is diluting the human experience provi by providing hybrids with gene splicing treatments. Group feels that the goals stated by Genus, in addition to newer cybernetic technology, are warping humanity into a very scary, dark future. You're playing God in the most senseless of ways. We were born human. Who are we to mess with our genes and start turning everybody into who knows what, said one protester who has to remain anonymous. It's ridiculous and scary. It's not human. Gene, gene splicing is like a real thing. It's for diseases, as far as I know. More information follows the story it develops late into the holiday 2064 season. Charlie Nova sports article, local news article. Who's Charlie Nova? Hey, it's Charlie Nova, host of Star in the Stratosphere. And tonight in the stars, join Ryan V. Jossio and the Hassy Boys for our 10th annual TMI New Year's Eve special, where I'll interview some of the hottest celebrities and find out what their plans are for 2065. Tune in or join us live at Union Square for the big show, starting at 10 p.m. Well, we're going to read the local news article and then uh, do what everything else in the game is supposed to be. Golden Gate Park vandalism on the rise. Reports show the local foodie booth, JJ's Froyo stand, was destroyed last night in what appears to be another case of a rogue rom committing an act of vandalism. Cart was evidently attacked and damaged by a large rom that had no shell. Witnesses state the alleged perpetrator has been randomly appearing at night before lumbering back into nearby trees on the western side of the park. This is the first case of Rom being reported to live on its own in the wild as a stray. Please say there that tracking down a potential owner of the Rom is likely impossible. Some speculate that the strange Rom may have been framed by vandals who set their crime deliberately to make it appear to have been carried out by the Rom, rogue or under orders. Okay, today reached out to Parallax for comment, and they assured us that the rogue ROM is purely a myth that tends to pop up conveniently when re low revenue businesses have the urge to file an insurance. Oh, it's like setting your place on fire. Parallax did not appreciate the reports of vandalism being attributed to their models. Is this wild ROM the real deal, or could it be a fairy tale created by those looking to make a quick buck? Or perhaps there's something else to be gained. More as the story progresses. To the bed, I guess, right? Yeah, I can't click on anything else except for the door and it doesn't want me to go. I can't use the spoiled milk. Go to sleep. I'm very sad I can't use the spoiled milk on my bed. <gasps> Is that the wild rom? Awake. 
What? I'm honestly not sure why most humans don't have such lengthy sleep cycles. It seems rather inconvenient. Are you significantly opposed to cybernetic augments? Um. <laughs> what the heck? -y? Oh, I hope you don't mind. Uh, you broke in. While you were asleep, I had some spare time on my hands, so I reorganized your records and entertainment media using Bisac. Bisac. Once that was done, I found the cleanliness of your living and workspace to be suboptimal conditions for the long-term performance of my microactuators. So I microactuators? But left the ooze. Like the ooze still there. As you awoke, I was attempting to interface and make performance adjustments to your personal computer, but I've uh, run into a bit of a snag. Did you break Lappy? it uses are actually quite atrocious what it only took me 17 trillion clock cycles to break your entry code what does that mean 17 trillion clock cycles i don't know how long that is is that a long time or is that a quick time it looks rather imposing but it's actually a knockoff of the saki gate m stroke 14723 stroke p Stroke. Don't feel too bad. I actually cheated a bit when I cross-referenced likely numeric combinations against the stored personal data on you. What? I'm not certain why you picked the birthday of your first dog, but it would be sufficiently obscure to defeat most casual attempts to enter. Huh! Oh, that's sweet. Frankly, I felt a little silly that I took the time to do all that once I noticed that the lock on your window is broken. Yeah, that's fair. And that you left it open. Did my dog birthday? I know a lot of things. Honestly, it wouldn't take any longer if I had to enter the codes manually. But it was trivial to slice through the door's firewall and try against the stored data directly. What does that mean? I feel like this is a game for Justin. Justin would know everything that this thing is saying. I would suggest investing in an insect model 1355 automatic security door. The 1385 is newer, but I find the added attack vector introduced by the integrated voice commands isn't worth the convenience. The 1355 also has 300 five star reviews on Congo. Con <laughs> Congo got me. <clears throat> I was eating and then I choked. Because at first I went Congo and then. I realized that Congo is, uh, just their version of Amazon, it's just another place in the world. <clears throat> Unfortunately, your motherboard seems to have had a critical failure while I was attempting to remove some particularly nasty malware. You broke Lappy? An electrical surge caused significant damage to several other components as well. I would consider it no great loss, though. I'm poor. Were you using that dinosaur to begin with? Don't fret. Don't fly. Are you gonna get I me one? I managed to back up your data drive's contents on my storage before the crash. Okay, but do you have money? Additionally, I am willing to serve as your personal computer until you can procure a replacement or provide the parts necessary for me to make the repairs. It is the least I can do. Yeah, you broke my computer! You also cleaned but left the ooze! Uh, I'm sorry. Why? 
to engage you in any sort of subterfuge, but I tend to ramble on a bit when I'm nervous. Okay. I have all the necessary protocols, but I've never actually spoken to another person besides Hayden until now. Is oh, that's our friend. Well, saying I know Hayden is putting it simply, but yes. Okay. I don't really know. That's why I'm here. What? Help me. You aren't quite my only hope, but you're certainly the most statistically supported. <laughs> the beginning. Okay. Yes, I can do that. Earlier tonight, Hayden's apartment was assaulted by some persons unknown to me. Oh. He seemed frightened, terrified even, and instructed me to escape. Okay. I crawled out of a window and after some deliberation, hurried here. I heard them breaking down the door as I left. He is one of the top researchers at Parallax. But there's no way that alone would be enough to get him kidnapped. Huh. I suspect it has to do with me. Why? Ah, excuse me. I forgot to introduce myself. Yes. I've never had the pleasure of doing so before. I am Turing. Oh. Huh. I know this must sound quite unflattering. I suppose you could describe me as one of Hayden's experiments. Uh-huh. He's currently researching advanced machine intelligence at Parallax. I am a personal side project of his. Okay. Exploring true artificial sapience. It's possible that the idea of a sapient machine could scare or tempt an organization into kidnapping him. Yeah. Either to stop his research or to take it and use it for themselves. Yeah, how are you different? Ron has virtual intelligence. They can appear rather okay. smart, even human seeming when you talk to them. But they're just cleverly programmed to respond to a variety of situations in an organic manner. Okay. They aren't in any way self-deterministic. As for myself, much of my code wasn't actually written by Hayden, but rather compiled during my infancy as I learned to interact with the world around me. What? But despite my ability to self-modify my code, I am afraid to adapt or develop any further without Hayden's guidance. Only program me with the illusion of free will? Maybe. How would you? Hayden once told me that his desire to create artificial life stemmed from his need to find out. But I can't say I have any new insight into the question. To find out what? How can any of us tell that we aren't just puppets oh. dancing to someone else's will? Yeah. We are getting a little philosophical. I apologize for the tangent. I ran an algorithm against every contact in Hayden's address book. Okay. Based on the combined deductions of personal profile, directness of connection to Hayden, occupational skill, and probable motive, you were the candidate most likely to both be able and willing to help me. I am willing. Um... You also broke my computer, so I have to? Okay, that one may be a little bit rude, like... I don't know, maybe not. Maybe it's just because I haven't talked to Hayden in a while. The numbers don't lie about your investigative skills, but I will admit your total lack of recent successes is worrisome. What? Investigative skills? Okay. Humph. Don't worry. If Hayden trusted you, I trust you. You're strong-willed and capable. Okay. If anything, it 
it's worth trying for Hayden. You know what? Here's my hot take. Uh, I think we shouldn't be using technology to create sentient robots. We should be using it to translate animals, uh, I say, as one of the cats, probably Panda, is screaming outside the craft room. Um, cause I need to know what she's saying. I also need to understand why she was licking a bunch of apples uh, about 30 minutes ago. I don't know. I'm not certain who would benefit the most from taking Hayden prisoner. Admittedly, Hayden has become increasingly paranoid as of late and has warned me to stay alert, but he would never specify anyone I should fear when I asked. Panda! Panda, there are other people! She's literally sitting outside the door. I'm 90% sure. But, like, I know the cats are dumb, but if they could tell me what they need, that'd be great. It's not as though he has any obvious enemies. No, obviously. There are several multinational corporations that could make use of his engineering skills, but I can't imagine any of them would go as far as snatching him. I don't know. Some corporations are very evil. Have you seen the second half of Death Note? I won't say spoilers, even though it's been out for like forever, but. Yeah, let's get started. But can you get rid of that ooze that's in my sink? I took the liberty of charging the auto cab fare from here to Hayden's apartment to your personal finance account, and the car has just arrived. I don't have a personal finance account, um, so you should have charged it to Hayden's. Um, you broke my computer, and I need to buy a new one. Yeah. Do you think it understands sarcasm? Probably not. Twenty twenty one. No, twelve twenty one. Twelve twenty. That's my mother's birthday. Hmm, that's strange. I hope that's not a security question or anything. Hmm. Well, the door for our home seems to have already been repaired. Huh. I'm certain my audio sensors picked up the sounds of his assailants breaking the lock. Oh. It's possible. Most of the repairs to the building are handled by the automated systems. Yeah. At best, it means someone is aware there's a situation here. Let's proceed carefully. Okay. Oh, a lucky break. What? It seems my access codes still work. What? This door has far better security than yours does. You really gotta say that? I'm helping you. You really gotta be like, you poor fuck. of entering people's homes in the middle of the night without permission for no reason. Fair enough, fair enough. Glad you have manners. Breaking and entering is just not a sustainable hobby. <laughs> you're right, you're right. So yes, I am quite certain. I saw it happen myself. I should have stayed and tried to protect him. Oh. I doubt he could have fought off a serious assault. He is a nerd. Hayden is not the most physically intimidating of individuals. Yeah, he's a nerd. Hm, of course not. How silly. Punch me then. To make a machine intelligence truly self-deterministic, it must be able to self-modify. Any sapient worth their silicon would be able to code <laughs> around such an inhibitor eventually. Then punch me, Turing. Punch me. Prove it. Do it! I 
hard too? Do it. I won't for the same reason you don't go around randomly killing people. Alright, fair. I, yeah. The social contract, as a useful construct, is just as apparent to me as it is to you. It simply isn't acceptable to go on a murderous rampage. Alright, he's pretty smart. Self-defense and defense of one's home and family is typically allowed, though. I could have and may even have been obligated to come to Hayden's defense. But I... Yes, what's done is done. Point, let's start searching for clues. Clues! Television is looping through some of Hayden's feeds. Tech banter. Ted's code tips, augmented eye. That one's highlighted. Let's listen to it. You sync to the TV and listen to boring news in high def. Okay. Touch the TV. There are no buttons on the screen. There's no need to touch. Okay. What the fuck's this? Ooh, vintage game. Few vintage game. But always a fan of old tech. Again, the strength of the temptation we resist. Okay. You probably become a rad video game wizard now. All right. Let's. No, we're not using the spoiled milk on his games. That's hella rude. That's how you get disowned by your friends. A ROM component in Hayden's headset must have been in the middle of working on something. Touch it. Busted. Dropped it in the screen. Okay. No, we're still not using the spoiled milk on it. Looks like an old items and memory card. Something in the room might be able to read it. Take it. Okay, we'll try it. Nope, okay. Video games? Nope, okay. Look out the window. Even likes the natural light that this apartment affords. This window here is where I escaped from. Cool. It is a considerable distance to the ground below. Okay. Critical system damage would be unlikely, but I would certainly have damaged my legs beyond repair. So, oh. so I took the fire escape. Oh, that's smart. Again, very smart. Touch the window. Long way down. Better be careful. Okay. Touch it. I can't. Okay. I can't. I get. All right. What if I, I want to send it? It, why is it stuck to the inside of my pocket? Photos. A picture of Hayden traveling all over the world working at company. Pray that ensures you get more it. Yeah. That's it. Sentiment is understood, but you probably won't forget what Hayden. Okay. Preparing. Yeah. Plant. Plants. Okay, it's doing a lot better. Yeah, that's fair. Falls off the plant. Let's listen to it. Bad manners listen to other people's plants. Okay. What's this? ROM parts. Hayden spends so much of his time at home building ROMs, as if he doesn't do enough of that at work. Fair. I don't know. Listen to the ROM parts. ROM lame. Okay. Uh, we go to the computer, because the computer obviously is what we need. That's Hayden's computer. Yes? Most people just use a hand screen or goggles in conjunction with their ROM. But desktop rigs like this are still more suitable to the intensive programming tasks Hayden needs to perform. That's like a... Laptops versus desktops. Clues! No, I don't. Oh. And before you ask, I don't think I would be able to break past its security in any reasonable length of time. <sighs> I'm sorry to disappoint you. 
Good. If you'd like to try your hand at digital breaking and entering, be my guest. Okay. I actually have a bit less free processing power than a regular ROM, despite my powerful CPU. Much of those extra clock cycles are used to maintain my complex personality algorithms. What? Hayden's computer has enough spare processing power to run counter-intrusion software if I attempt to slice in. Frankly, even if I did have the power capability, I haven't found hacking to be one of my talents. Mm. What? What's the mesh net? I could, but much in the same way you might learn a task and still have no aptitude for it, I'm not certain I would be able to do the job any better than an experienced computer security expert. Okay. The whole reason humans have always been better at breaking into systems than the systems are at keeping them out is because humans have intuition. Intuition. While computers can only think in straight lines, humans can think sideways and upside down. You do feel like loop de loop. Well, I wouldn't say that, but as silly as it sounds, I just don't think I'm very good with computers. <laughs> what? You are a computer! What do you mean? I do seem to have some skill with painting, though. Oh. Hayden was impressed with some of my pieces, but I'm not sure he has a firm enough grasp of early 20th century abstract expressionism to give me an objective opinion. Yeah, of course, that's what Turing is painting. That's true. Machines are best at reproduction. Still life, impressionism, photorealism. But I find it more challenging and satisfying to paint yeah. what I feel. You have feelings? If I, what if I touch it? Nope, touch it. No idea how to log in. Click it. Click it. I want to use this. No compatible slots. Rude. What if I try and use the milk on it? All right, that's fair. Um. There's. Oh, this stack of books is the last thing left. Something under those reference books. Okay. Tablet. Ah, uh, that device. Of course, Turing is your best friend. I find it rather annoying that he prefers to go basic rather than entrust me with his schedule. It is well within my skill set, but he claims he does not want me to begin to feel subservient to him. That's fair. The memory card slot is empty. It seems to be a match for the memory card you discovered. Woo woo woo! Woo 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 woo! We can't use it without the card. Go ahead and insert it. Don't tell me what to do! I'm gonna use the milk on everything now that you've done that. I don't feel comfortable using it on anything else, actually. Hayden must have removed the memory card in order to prevent his assailants from easily tracing his connections. Okay. Mm, if only he had kept his information stored with me, he would not have had to resort to such crude measures. All right. Travel counter saves. Supposed to be in. Tom got today. Not really. I guess we'll have to go ask. Wait, isn't that that app that was like asking children like their mother's maiden name and a bunch of personal questions? It says here they were going to meet at a club called Stardust, located in the Castro district. Wow. I'll mark it on your city map. I have a city map? We oh. can head over there and ask around about this Tomcat character. 
Perhaps they can shine some light on why Hayden was snatched. Snatched. Snatched like my wig. Oh, excuse me. I still haven't set up a user account for you in my system. What does that mean? We shouldn't put that off any longer. Once finished, I will have an assortment of new ways to assist you. Okay. For example, I'll be able to reroute any call or message that you receive while we're out and about. Okay. I just need to ask you a few questions. Okay. This is an exciting thing, I promise. Is it? You did, yeah. This is just how things are done. <laughs> I'm certain I could spend a few quadrillion clock cycles to bypass that part of my operating system. How? That seems less efficient than just running the setup program. How fast is a clock cycle? So, here we go. Welcome to the first time user setup for your new relationship and organizational manager running the latest build of Parallax's live intelligence processing system. I'll need to ask you a few questions and then you can get right to managing your life with your new ROM. Okay. If you have any questions, feel free to consult our online FAQ and setup guide or contact our support department directly. Okay. First, could you tell me your preferred name for use in account creation, online communications, and conversational speech? Okay. It's a, a T. Uh, o. R. I. Done! Do you wish to keep this name? Y yes! Thank you. It's my name. Put your name. Oh, you won't try and pronounce it, Turing? You won't try and pronounce it? That's fair, honestly. Like, pff. games that try and pronounce names are horrifying because it's never, it's never gonna be right. Next, could you tell me which pronouns I should use for you in referential and conversational speech? Yeah, sure. More options. I want to see what the. Wow. Thank you. I have input your pronouns. Okay, you could have you could have said those ones out loud. Finally, could you tell me your preferred diet for use in restaurant recommendations? What? More options. More options. More options. Okay, I guess I guess um okay. Diet set as omnivorous. Are you sure? Yeah. For confirming. That was a lot of options, honestly. I have obtained your physical location from GPS and will load local data into my That's memory as it becomes available. Uh, you know, my one critique is that the dietary option for everything covered in sugar um, was not available. Please review your submitted profile information for accuracy or restart setup to enter it again. Okay. In review. Does that sound right? Well, I didn't hear anything. Thank you. See, that was relatively cool. I eat more than canned things. I enjoy chicken that is on Do not give me canned meat. Canned meat is a sin. You should now also be able to access the local map of Neo SF. The meeting with Tomcat isn't until later this evening. Perhaps we should head back to your apartment for now. Turing, are you inviting yourself back to my place? I'm sure we can find some common ground while getting to know one another better. What? It will be an efficient use of our time together. This is like... Young Sheldon. Thank you for escorting me here. Let's head back to your home. If somebody ever said that would be an efficient 
use of our time to me. This game does not auto save. Save frequent. Okay. Thank you for letting me know. Chapter one. Oh, that was only the prologue. I literally went into this knowing nothing about this game. And I thought maybe it would be something squeamed. Anyways, I thought that it would uh, be a one streamer. I don't think it's gonna be a one streamer. You know your Crassula Ovada isn't doing very well. Must be the plant. Have you been overwatering it? Can you deal with the ooze? Deride me if you want, but I'm merely attempting to care for this living being you've been so callously neglecting. If I can continue without the insults. Sure. It's actually a succulent, and since I'm assuming you leave this window open all the time, it should get more than enough water just from the occasional rain blowing in. Huh. Speaking of the rain, your decorative plant may be doing poorly, but the mildew in your drywall is flourishing. Bamf. In fact, already taken the liberty of sending a request to his office. And considering the broken window, broken sink, and the lingering sense of disrepair, I am not confident he has a history of following through. I would suggest confronting him in person, but I have run a mesh search, and the man is a convicted felon for assault and battery with a deadly weapon. Huh, I even see straight into the neighbors. Like their window is behind the camera. So that's fun. Perhaps we should bring some sort of a bribe. Some sort of a bribe. I will continue to formulate a stratagem. How thoughtful of them. The Crassula Ovada, also known as the Jade Plant, oh. Honey Tree, Lucky Tree, or Friendship Tree, is an excellent and easy to care for house plant. I think we have one right over there. They make beautiful bonsai, are suitable for beginners, and have some cultural significance both in the Far East and America as a token for good financial luck. Oh. Most likely an urban legend, but still a nice gift. <laughs> I'd like your authorization to have a few tools shipped here. If I replant it into a more suitable pot with sandier soil, it should be thriving again soon. I'm poor. You just have to remember to water it less frequently. Considering the state of your apartment, I'd have figured you'd neglect it rather than drown it. That's rude. Ironic, since it would be doing better if you had. Yeah. Hmm. I was not intending to insult you, but I should have chosen my words more carefully. Yes. Though, if you really do intend to care for this plant, I suggest you let me do as I see fit. I mean only to help you. Do my choices impact Turing's personality in the end? Excellent. The supply should be here soon. I ordered from a place close by to keep the shipping costs down. Oh, uh, one other thing. Uh huh. When I was doing the research on how to best take care of the Crassula ovata, I stumbled upon the persistent belief that talking to plants improves their health. There is scientific evidence that shows there may be something to the notion, but the methodology in the study was a bit shaky, so it could all be rank superstition. I tried to talk to it. Anyway, I'll have this plant flourishing in no time. If left in direct sunlight, the leaves gain a pretty red tinge to their edges, and it should start flowering in the autumn. Huh. It'll really pull the whole room together. Can you deal with the ooze? You know, once we get the sink fixed. Yes. Oh, it's almost the time Hayden had scheduled to meet with Tomcat. We should make our way to Stardust soon. Your city map is updated with the location. Okay. I can't believe you cleaned up.
What if I just put the milk back in there? Let's talk to it. What? That's so mean! No! With more of that, we'll surely be on the way to Lush Greenery in no time. Yeah! This action will have consequences, probably. What if I talk to the ooze? Wow, Taring had nothing to say about that. Let's go to the club. Well, this looks like the place. Assuming club the going up on a Tuesday. From the sounds of the music, that's so hard to read. Underway at Stardust, even so early. Hopefully, we can find Tomcat inside and some answers. What's this? It's perfect for letting everyone know you spent a fortune. Okay. Intent to pour sport milk on the little, but the coops wipers are already alerted and stand primed at the ready, daring you to try. Huh. Bacteria lives in the base. They have what? I'm keeping the soil rich. That's cool. Touch it. Plant doesn't seem to know. Okay. Talk to it. Doesn't hear you, or it's choosing to. Okay. Window. Look in. It's busy enough to feel like the place. Okay. I'm surprised they're using a human bouncer instead of a rom. That's a nice, authentic touch. What? I can hug this man. I'm gonna hug this man. Oh, he won't hug me. <laughs> Welcome to Stardust. That's disgusting. Yeah, I got ID. All right, looks good to me. Good. Welcome to Stardust. All right. This is the place. Have you ever been here before? No. It does seem to be a bit boisterous for your taste. At least from what I know of them. Yeah. Still, the noise and the crowd should help keep our investigation clandestine. Anyway, where do you think we should start? Yeah, I have no idea. Check the bar. Good idea. Maybe the bartender can tell. Okay, first let's look at things. Arena box. Okay. Yeah. But what if I want to drink drinks that aren't mine? What if I put spoiled milk in it? It's not mine. Spo I can't believe. I've saved the location to my memory. Let's check it out after the investigation. You got it, Turing. I guess I'll- oh, more posters. They feel like the premiere of the Caster Theater. Alright, I guess I talked to this man now. Look at him. Grab like a bill, hold down the bar. Okay. Can I touch him? Okay. Shall I talk to him? Morning, friend. What can I do for you? What are you having? 
whatever I have. Ah, wiener juice! Ingredients and ratios. Subtle bitch! Canopy? A blue fairy motion. Why are there so many options? Is this bike? Start Modest Connie. A PT Whiskey Rita drinking game. Tastes like orange. Fucking, I don't know. Ah! Scotch drop and roll. Hair drink, Dougie's and cream. Maple you closer. Tokyo T seven minutes. Bionic Fem. Bionic Fem. Blue Boy. Persian June. Okay. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna do subtle bitch. So many drinks these days. I know. What's in? Ah oh, fuck. Drinkinary. The open alcoholopedia says. Wait, that sounds kind of good. I don't know what this is. But everything else, that sounds good. Does that sound good? Yes. Ah, all right, you got it. I should have said try something else and looked at wiener juice. Now, what is it you need to know? Sure, Tomcat came in earlier, but I don't know where they went off to. Mm. I'd ask what you were meeting about, but I know they like to keep that kind of stuff quiet. Mm. Maybe try looking out on the dance floor. If they come around here, I'll tell them you're looking. Tell me more about yourself. Oh, <laughs> I should introduce myself. The name's Majid. Majid. I've been the bartender of Stardust for a few years now, but I've owned it a little longer than that. <gasps> You own it! So, what do you want to know? You single? That's true. And it was true about Stardust. The first six months were great. But after that, the interest dried up and the kids moved on to the next big thing. But, I guess I'm just stubborn and kept throwing good money after bad. <laughs> Two years in a remodel, things started to pick back up again. We slowly dug ourselves out of the debt hole. We got some regulars That's good. around. They started bringing in enough new folks, and it reached critical mass pretty quick. Wow. Mostly got myself into trouble. When I immigrated from Pakistan, I didn't oh. have a whole lot of employable skills. But I'm real big, which was enough to get hired for some real dirty stuff. Bodyguard work. Bodyguard. I told, I hated the work. I didn't want to be a hired fist my whole life. Fair enough. Something regular, peaceful. Is being a bartender? I guess it is regular. I had enough cash saved up to buy this place, which was a hole at the time. The rest is history. I'm sure it sounds more exciting than it was. <laughs> hated. Scientist guy does some mm -hmm. kind of computer research at Parallax. Yes. Pretty sure I know who you're talking about, but I don't think he's around here tonight. He's really not. Our place doesn't really seem like his scene, but I think he comes in to scout young programming talent. Go figure. Fair. I can ask around, find out if anyone's seen him. I'll let you know. Appreciated. Well, it was nice meeting you, but I gotta get back to work. I'll keep an eye out for Tomcat and send them your way if I see them. Good luck. Thanks. Enjoy yourself. And don't be a stranger. I won't, Majid. Majid? Majid. To the dance floor. So that's definitely Tomcat. Yeah, question mark, question mark, yeah. Look at table. Fancy tables have a little touch screen so we can order drinks. Oh, that's cool. Let's talk. Hey, what's up? Having a good time? A 
Everything's sinking. Okay. All right, let's dance in. What? Yeah, let's dance. Yay. Let's dance in city over here. What? Arcade punk mega what? It's an arcade cabinet mega fobiter. Let's play it. I did it! Hooray! You survived! Yeah! Those ghosts will think twice before messing with you again! Hell yeah, they will! Hey, have you checked out Megaphobiter? Heard the machine was donator stars recently, but it's been having problems since I got here. Something doesn't seem right once you get the boss, you know? What? It's off. Okay. What's this? Barrier between the arcade and the VIP section. Alright. Alright, we're gonna look at the stranger. Woman stands it quietly. People watching. Okay. Yes. Can I help you? Tomcat is. Oh, wait, I get it. You headed right up to the chick with the ears, because of course she'd be the one with the cat name. Yes. Unfreaking believable. Find them yourself, jerk. You guess? How am I supposed to deal with this furry? Right now, and cat jokes are the biggest turn off. I don't know where Tomcat is, so look for them elsewhere. Don't expect others to be so kind, or even me most times. You want to talk about the hybrid thing? Cool. No one's trying to hide it, and you won't have an easy time avoiding it at this club. What? But jokes, puns, and worse, assumptions? That will get you blacklisted fast. We don't all have the energy to handhold genotypical people who can't spare 10 seconds to pull out their ROM and look things up. If you try to pet me, your arm is coming off. I feel like I'm getting yelled at uh, a lot for just being like, I'm looking for this person with this name, is that you? Typical. Yeah, 
as in not a hybrid like me. Now then, I'm not here to educate you, and I do have a life to return to. Yeah, all right, whatever. Just get moving. <sighs> I just... I didn't mean anything. Hi there. I heard you were looking for me. What is this? Yours truly, though. Although, while I like the attention, it'd be just grand if you didn't holler for me so loudly. Okay. I do my share of flirting with both sides of the law. Wouldn't want little old me to get in trouble, huh? <laughs> Ah, you're fine. Jess is just a my prickly pear on the outside. She'd probably give hell to most strange folks she hasn't made a deal with. <laughs> so, to what do I owe the pleasure? Hayden's missing. Yes. This is what I said. Well, one way to sell my night. Yes. I already saw you got his little wrong with you, so I'll give you the benefit of the doubt for now. Yeah, the the ROM broke into my house. Do you know about me? Hayden never mentioned your involvement. Well, sure thing, hon. I helped reprogram the back end on your OS so the AI code Hayden wrote for you would work properly with the mesh network. I have a distressing lack of information on my own creation. Shame. Hayden never saw fit to inform me on what went into designing my programming. Is there anything else you can tell me? Mm, not much more on that end. I'm a crack shot at making the Libs OS dance to my tune, but Hayden's coding in your AI core is a whole different can of worms. <laughs> Way out of my league. Sorry, doll. Anything else I can help with? Hayden and I met not long after my blackout expired, when he recruited blackout. me for my expertise in lips. Okay. It puzzled me at the time, since he's very sharp himself. I mean, he, he could have done the job blindfolded and boozy. The day that furries are accepted in normal polite society is the day I get very confused. Um, but there is that, uh, I think it was on My Strange Addiction or one of those similar shows, the there's a woman that like turned herself into a tiger and also a man that turned himself into a lizard, I think. I don't I don't get it. I'm not gonna yuck anyone's yum, but also what and why in public at least. I think you just wanted someone working on it off the books. He ain't the most uh, straightforward kind of man. Yeah. Mostly that little bot you got there. Okay. Well, I, I'm sure he had his fingers in lots of pies, but turn is all I knew about. Oh, it's a powerful OS. And it's since been adapted to run on ROMs after they figured out how much more efficient it is. Hmm. It's focused on learning algorithms, so it can tailor itself to each user's habits. And it functions through using a distributed mesh network for non-essential public files. Huh. Yeah, like I'm a child, That's please. That's a fancy way of saying all ROMs connect to all other ROMs. Mm. Within range. And they share all files the user has a tag as private. Oh, okay. It's handy in dense population areas like Neo SF, since it can bypass regular telecom nodes to access the internet. Out in the sticks, though, you're stuck connecting to regular old pops. <laughs> yeah. I don't rightly know. I can't avoid the thought that Hayden's disappearance has something to do with me, based on his recent behavior. 
Well, let's see. Uh, Hayden was pretty hush hush about his work on your creation, but mm -hmm. Parallax found out about it somehow. Oof. That might have changed things. Yeah, that's fair. It ain't always so good for a big company when their leading product declares independence. <laughs> yeah. I'm certain Hayden has some kind of intellectual property clause written into his contract with him. He would just get fired. Maybe even sued. I, I can't imagine they would disappear him. I mean, they ain't the CIA or anything. But what if they are? Oh, sure! <laughs> you might have even heard of me in the news way back when. No. About ten years ago, I hacked into Parallax's main ROM servers. Let's see. Ten years. So, in 2054. I'll be hella old. I'll be 60. Um. Maybe I would know about that. Ooh, that was one hell of a stink if I do say so myself. People were arguing back and forth whether I was a kid genius or malicious criminal. Why not both? I earned myself an enforced nap blackout for a few years, but I think it was worth it for the prestige. Uh huh. <laughs> that snort. Well, I don't know. I didn't really do it to steal anything. <laughs> I had to break an awful lot of eggs to crack my way in. I chalk it up to the exuberance of youth. Yes. And now I try to stay on the straight and narrow. Didn't you say you dabble on both sides of the law, though? Mostly. Sometimes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh, oh, my kid. Sometimes I treat this place like it's my own little bat cave. Yeah. Huh? To see if I could. I mean, Parallax is a mighty big target. Bigger than the government. That reminds me, um, so my brother used to be the IT department at a high school. Um, it was a high school in my hometown, which he worked there when people that I went to elementary school were there, and I had moved away. And one of my old friends, apparently he kept having to have a conversation with, because she just kept ha trying to hack into the school's something i don't know with the desktops in the computer lab he kept being like can you please stop it she was like i'm going to computer science school i need to do this and he goes no you really don't need to like can you please make my job easy probably north carolina dog oh. sure it's not the glitziest town in the world but folks like the way the sun goes down Still, this ain't a bad town for a southern belle. Lots of clothes. I had to get a third walk-in closet. <gasps> Three walk-in closets? I I mean, I technically have a walk-in closet in the craft room, but... God, I would love three walk-in closets. Oh, don't you worry about Jess, hon. She just don't have a lot of patience when talking to genotypical folks like us. She's had to deal with an awful lot of pricks. Because, uh, it will. I'm very confused on the stance of furries. So confused. Um. I'm mostly, like, hybrid is some. You're not born a hybrid, right? Like, it's a choice that you make. It's not like... I'm confused. I'm so confused. Well, that ain't the most delicate way of putting it, but it makes things tough, you know? Nah, I'd leave her alone if I were you. She's sharp enough on her own, but she's got friends in low places. Oh, I'm gonna get shamed. She does owe me a favor, or three. But I ain't sure I want to waste one on pulling your foot out of your own rear, you hear? 
<laughs> yeah, that's fair. Yeah, I'm not real sure, huh? But it would likely help if we knew why he went missing in the first place. I'll stay here and ask around. People know me, and they sure ain't gonna talk to a newbie like yourself. Yeah, it's fair. Why don't you hop back over to Hayden's place and grab the data cache out of his computer for me? We can go over his research notes and see if we can't find a reason for his being banished. Did Tomcat steal him? If Parallax is involved, there's probably something we're not seeing. Best to get all the clues we can find. Okay. The data cache would be the best place to start. All right. Good luck. Turn you. You keep out of trouble. All right. Leave. I didn't drink my drink. Oh no! Fault citizen. This area has been cordoned off by the Neo SF Police Department as part of an ongoing investigation. Now it's on I search. apologize for the inconvenience, but I am not authorized to allow anyone to enter this location. Fuck. I'm sorry, citizen, but I cannot give comment on any currently ongoing investigations. If you would like to leave your contact information with me, I can forward your inquiry to the detective in charge, who will get in touch with you as soon as it is feasible. They may have questions for you. Thank you in advance for your cooperation, citizen. That will not be possible, citizen. The area must be preserved in pristine condition for the collection of evidence. Listen, I've already been in there, uh, so... Only authorized Neo-SFPD personnel may enter. I am required by law to inform you that I am set at level 2 guard mode, and any effort to make unauthorized entry will be met with non-lethal force sufficient to incapacitate. Uh oh I apologize, but I must ask you to move along. Loitering around an active investigation area is prohibited by city statute, and I am authorized to issue the citation of a fine to any persons found to be doing so. We should go ahead and get moving. Oh, Brett, I did not expect the police to get involved so quickly. The situation is already growing out of our control. It was never in our control. I suppose we don't have to hide the fact of Hayden being missing anymore, but we do have to move faster. Do you have any ideas on how to get in there and grab that data cache? No. Who would that be? Yeah, who would that be? No such connection when I compiled your personal history. Give me a moment. Okay. Oh, I see now. Detective Lexi Rivers. She used to date your sister. I have a sister? I must have missed that link in your history somehow. You have a very poor net presence. Now that is not true. My net presence is great. It's a joke, but all the information is there. It makes anticipating your needs more difficult. Well, setting aside your unreasonable distaste for technology, I agree with your suggestion. Yeah, it's creepy when you just go, I know all of this profile suggests that she might be willing to work with us off the books, so to speak. A considerable boon, since I would prefer to maintain the clandestine nature of this investigation for now. I don't know if I know what the word clandestine means. I thought I did and then uh, he used it again and I don't know. Let us go and find Miss Rivers to request assistance. Oh, right. Should I refresh my protocols for handling titles around Detective Rivers? Yes. I... I don't even have any teeth. It was a joke. <clears throat> I mean, done and...
and done, we wouldn't want any social faux pas, would we? Now lead the way. All right. What is that? Oh, that's a kitty. But Tomcat, that's Tomcat. Crime status. Let's look. Oh. You want some milk? When is the milk gonna be useful? Ton of paperwork on it. Okay. Oh, what's this? Better date? Okay. That's what I touched them. Oh. You believe it turns the front desk. Can I touch it? Alright, I guess it's not good. Welcome to the Neo San Francisco Richmond District Police Station, citizen. How may I be of assistance today? That felt good. Yeah. A few moments to get in contact with Detective Rivers. If I would have chosen the other one, that would have been very rude because then that would just that would be racist. Yeah, I don't know. Thank you for your patience. Unfortunately, Detective Rivers is out on assignment at the moment, but she has given me her authorization to send you her way. Tight. You can find her by the carousel building in Golden Gate Park, but I will caution you to exert care. Okay. She is working in investigation right now, and we are not responsible for your safety should you approach. All right. Is there anything else I can help you with? I apologize, citizen, but I am not authorized to comment on ongoing investigations. I will pass your concerns on to the detective in charge. Mm. Is there anything else I can help you with? I am not authorized to comment on any ongoing investigations, but the protests outside Genus are a hot human interest topic. Perhaps you could look around there. Okay. Feel free to note the assistance of the Neo San Francisco Police Department in your article. Is there anything else I can help you with? No. Have a good day, citizen. Why you got a big loaf of bread? Oh, <gasps> where is this little skateboarding dude? Public part rom at Rome's is just an area to offer water and directions to tourists. It also takes donations. Use water, Rom. dressed fella he's taking a photo of his rom use him yeah okay hey if you take a photo of me my yes thanks you're welcome sharply dressed woman hi you think I'd look nice in that hat yes A mauve? Having a lot of mixed feelings about this whole wearing a hat on a breezy day thing. Okay, so. Originally built by the Herschel Spillman Company in 1914, this carousel is still one of the outstanding attractions near the children's playground. Oh, Patrick, I need to help you make a face, uh, Instagram post. Eucalyptus globulus, the Tasmanian blue gum. Huh. 
Oh, no, I just looked at your thingy that said that you're, you don't have a social media presence, and then I remembered that you told me to help you make a post, and then I never did. It's one of my favorite treats. The clean lines of the leaves and modeled patterns of the bark are interesting. Okay. It's quite fun to paint, and it's a rather useful tree, too. Okay. The oil in its leaves can be used as a medical antiseptic or analgesic, boiled into tea, or used as flavoring in foods. Analgesic? I don't know what that is. Even used as a fragrance for soaps. Okay. Many of the trees in this park are excellent specimens of the species. It's one of the only topics I've permanently committed to my personal memory. Is this robot a druid? Oh, I do. However, I originally started by painting landscapes. My interest in the arts began through Bob Ross's work, and he focused on landscapes. And until recently that I moved on to other forms of composition. Yes, have you heard of him? Wait, Bob Ross at this point would have been dead for 50 some years, almost 50 years. Insane. Insane. I don't know why. I was like, why Bob Ross with a question mark? Why is he asking if I've heard? Oh, he's very dead. During my initial stages of mental growth, <clears throat> Hayden limited my media access to mostly only educational programs. I had almost a century of public access television to review, and I stumbled upon Mr. Ross's excellent show, The Joy of Painting. <laughs> I mean this in the nicest way that uh, that statement there made me think of uh, Tristan's childhood in which they mostly watched public access television. So this is just Tristan as a robot. Uh, things coming my TED talk. Easy to learn wet on wet oil painting technique, and I started to paint along with the episodes. I also find his philosophical views compelling. He often used anecdotal stories from his life to illustrate his opinions. I respect the man quite deeply. I committed all 403 episodes of the series to my personal memory. That's so many episodes. Ah, yes. I don't actually store most information on my local memory. It's actually rather limited, and I have to be a bit choosy about what I keep. Huh. So most of the information I utilize, I just pull off the mesh net when needed. It's like relearning things over and over again. I'm sure you would find it tedious, but I enjoy making sure my reference tables are up to date in my spare clock cycles. Are clock cycles like heartbeats? I mostly store things locally if they are of some critical importance to me. Like information pertaining to personal memories or knowledge that would be helpful if I found myself disconnected from the net. Well, as I said, I keep things pertaining to my personal memory. It may seem insignificant, but without the information about eucalyptus globulus, I'd lack critical details about my painting history and the local area both of which I find important to my emotional development. Oh, that's sweet. Sometimes it can be a bit difficult to know what's important and what isn't, but I fear losing parts of myself. So, Eucalyptus Globulus stays. Oh! Of course I'm cute. The basic ROM form factor is designed to place us firmly outside of the Uncanny Valley. Very humble. I can't imagine adoption rates for the technology would have been very high otherwise. Of course, enough about the happy little trees. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me 
for chattering on like that. We'll have plenty of time to discuss things once we found Hayden. Let's ride the carousel. I don't think we have time to ride it, even though it looks fun. <laughs> oh, I have to go all the way over here. Okay, now where am I supposed to- this tree? Where am I supposed to go? Oh, I didn't see that arrow. Broken beat up Froyo stand. I did read about it in the newspaper. Can't get Froyo! Very distraught owner of a very destroyed Froyo stand. Can't you see I'm busy here? Sure. I'm Simon in the park. Wait, Lexi looks dope. You haven't seen her in some time until today. Hey there, long time. Give me a few minutes to wrap this up, okay? I swear you wouldn't believe the amount of paperwork I have to file over a damn wrecked Froyo stand. By the way, how's your sister doing? I don't know if you've heard, but we got some phantom robot on the loose that everyone is calling Wonder Boy. Huh. Supposed to be a hero of the people or something, but I have no idea what smashing a Froyo stand has to do with it. Question. I guess it's just a bunch of kids screwing around at night and getting a thrill out of some light vandalism. So these two plot points have to meet up at some point. But the brass said to take it seriously, so that's what I'm gonna do. It's not like I have real cases I could be working on or actual criminals to be hunting down or anything. Yeah. Uh, if I had known that this is all they would give me, I never would have transferred. Cool. Oh. transferred because the credits were good. Mm -hmm. I thought being in a bigger city would mean I'd get to work some bigger cases. Yeah. Instead, I'm stuck chasing ghosts and dead ends. Let's see. I'm too young for full detective. I'm too big of a hothead. I've got a history. I have augments. Take your pick. Augments. So yeah, I have plenty of spare time to help you with whatever you got. Oh. Gotta be better than dealing with this crap. Uh, hold on one sec. Let me steal a break from this guy. <laughs> so, fill me in. What's going on? Oh, shoot, that's no good. Uh, how long have they been gone? I'll have a hard time getting a focused effort on the case immediately unless there's evidence of foul play. So, like, the cops are already there. Unfortunately, detective, things are precisely that serious. I am Hayden's personal wrong, and I was witness to the kidnapping. I can assure you Hayden was taken by force, and that time is of the essence. Just prior to the incident, he instructed me to seek help should anything bad happen. I now believe he has been expecting trouble of this magnitude. Oh? We need your help if we're going to track him down. Damn. All right, then. I'll do what I can to open up an investigation. I can't guarantee I'll be put on the case, conflict of interest and all, but yeah. I can sure keep tabs on things for you. That's appreciated. Yes, Hayden is a senior researcher at Parallax, and I know he was working on some very high-profile projects for the company. It's quite likely that he was taken by somebody with enough money and influence to ensure anything official goes nowhere. You yourself have already cast doubt on your superior's judgment. Unfortunately, we share the sentiment. Yeah. In fact, we know there is already some kind of currently ongoing investigation. We were stopped from entering Hayden's apartment by an NSFPD ROM. That's why we came to you. Yeah. We were hoping you would be empathetic to our cause. You know, 
know, you're a bit chattier than most realms. I guess it makes sense that Parallax employees get the shiniest new toys, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, we make them. I'll see what's going on in the department. I don't know what I can do if someone inside actually is dirty, but I can pass information to you if I decide my superiors aren't taking things seriously. Sounds good. They wouldn't have left only one bot by the door if it was something important enough to squash. Hopefully it's unrelated. I'll get back to you on it soon. Just relax and we'll figure this out. Promise. Eh. No way, not gonna happen. Hey. There's already an investigation. I'm not gonna let you just waltz in and tamper with evidence, cover up or not. At least give me a day to make sure they're doing the job right. Okay, but I need something. Don't you try to pull that guilt shit on me. <laughs> no, she's cool. I know you and I have gotten into a few scrapes in the past, but that vigilante stuff gets real old after a while. It's why I took this nice, stable job in the city. If I'd done it sooner, I'd still be with your sister. Oh. Damn it. You know that isn't what I meant. You don't even have proof there's dirty cops in on it, and I can't work off a hunch, not on an accusation that big. You think me feeding info to a journalist of all people isn't bad enough? I always- I keep forgetting I'm a journalist. I'm like, why won't anyone give me information? Alright, fine. I'll get you into the damn department. Yes! Be careful, okay? I know you think I'm just being paranoid, but the city is tense right now. With the protests and everything going on, you might be poking around in a hornet's nest. Are all hybrids furries? That's kind of what I was confused about. Yeah, th my thought process just, like, connected. But are all hybrids furries? I'm... Get a weapon of some kind and stay safe. I still care about you. I have spoiled milk. You do that. I'll radio ahead to the bot at the place. Let me know what you find out. All right, I better get out of here. Hey, you, Froyo guy, come along to the station and we'll get this report filed. <laughs> Who, me? But I've got to attend my stand. Sir, it's broken. <laughs> the crap. It's not going anywhere, and the robot I posted will make sure nobody messes with the crime scene. Uh, yes, ma'am. Okay, how do I get a weapon? Later. I'll be in touch. Talk. Halt, citizen. This area has been cordoned up. I apologize for the inconvenience, but I... One moment, citizen, while I verify Detective Rivers' authorization. Yes. Authorization obtained. Tight. Good luck with your investigation, citizen. <laughs> cool. I caution you to restrict your observations to the visual, though, as there has not been an officer in to check the scene personally. Oh, no one's come to check shit? It's just you standing here? I can go and... Gorgeous view of some skyscrapers. Okay. Alright. Let's go in. Why do those lights look like dynamite? What? What? Oh no. No, 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 no. Our apartment. My home. Who could have done this? Why? Shit. What does the human revolution want with Hayden? Ugh. <sighs> Fuck. Why would they break our things? I I don't know what to do. This place, these items. Maybe it's a cover up. So it's either a cover up. Yeah, it's got to be since we were here after he was taken. But 
the reasoning for it is gonna be that the human revolutionists want, like, Not only are they against hybrids, but also, well, because, no, because Parallax and Genus are different, but making AI is not human. These are thoughts. They're all I have of Hayden. What if he's gone for good? What will I do if we can't find him? This was all I had left. You're... You're right. I apologize for the emotional outburst. Well, let's look around and see if we can find the data cache in all this mess. I don't think we can. We don't have time to waste on my histrionics. Nation traveling less sensory hybridization of the human genome. Cybernetic augmentation has in the human viewpoint to the purity and strength of the species. Oh, <gasps> the plant! So we took to oh. Right by the green splintered glass. I think you're right about this being human revolution propaganda. But Hayden is an unlikely target. I know they don't like Parallax because they think advanced technology in general is bad, but they spend most of their time going after hybrids and cyborgs. Yeah. I'll run some deep mesh net searches and see if anything turns up. Thanks. Zombies being in bed in the high rise screen. This has been ransacked and tagged with spray paint. I think the data cache is gone. Yeah, it's definitely gone. We've searched everywhere, and it just isn't here. I hate to return to Tomcat empty handed, but this leaves us twisting in the wind. Perhaps they can point us in a new direction. The data cache is no longer our main objective, but it would be nice to know where it is and why it was taken. I wonder what the human revolution would need the data cache for anyway. That's a distinct possibility. Yeah, I also think it's Tomcat. I just don't have enough personal experience with the human revolution to give you an honest answer. Especially because after we talked to Tomcat, this happened. But maybe it's Jess. You know, maybe it's maybe it's the furry. The information on the mesh net is extremely conflicting and desperately polarized. Some of it paints them as neo-druid nature lovers, other parts as bigots stuck in the past. Perhaps we could. <gasps> hey, I forgot to save. Um, I hope I didn't just die. Nope, it's just chapter two! Okay! I should save! Yes! I should definitely save! What? Do I click menu to save? I don't know! Thank goodness you're finally awake! Yes. I have spent the past 30 minutes calculating the odds of you being indefinitely incapacitated or immobilized. Honestly, me every second of every day. I'm relieved to find my pessimism was misplaced and that you appear to be okay. Someone ambushed us at the apartment. I was told to get a weapon and I didn't know where to get a weapon. Systems were jammed by whoever attacked us. It 
it took me two minutes to reboot and call an ambulance. Anyways, I was gonna make a joke. I uh, can't wait to be called a bigot one day because of uh, my slander of furries. When we left, I noticed they had done the same thing to the NSFPD ROM that was standing post. It takes a lot of power to crash one of those, even temporarily. Serious military hardware like that is difficult to obtain, but that type of non-lethal electrical field would interrupt my systems as well. Likely a mil spec neuro scrambler. What? If we walked in on them while they were searching the apartment for Hayden's files, I can understand them stunning us to make their escape. Yeah. But the probability that they're actually after me, or rather the research behind my creation, seems high. Yes. Leaving me when I was so vulnerable makes no sense. I now believe my original hypothesis to have been correct. Hayden must have been kidnapped by a powerful organization looking to get control of his research. Maybe? Cashing our apartment may have been a cover for the theft of the data cache we were looking for. Yeah, it was Mr. A reasonable deduction. But if they don't yet have Hayden's research, we may still have time to rescue him before something really bad happens. Yes. No, I didn't. They assaulted us from behind, and nothing showed up. Wait, this it. thing, it just randomly says okay. They either had cloaking of some kind, or were extraordinarily careful while making their way into the apartment. My optics, while not top of the line, are better than an off-the-shelf ROMs, and I should have been able to detect any thermal changes from someone being there. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, before I forget, here are your belongings. The nurses had me hold on to them for you until you awoke. Yeah. Here's your ID card. Don't lose this again. Yes. Here are those headphones you reviewed. Yes. I noticed the article on your computer before. Good job getting published. Oh. Oh, and here's your spoiled milk. Hell yeah! Luckily, the hospital staff didn't find your carrying of a carton of spoiled milk around to be a cause for concern. And finally, here's your commemorative glass of water that you got from Alfie. Looks like it got broken. Oh. Now all we have is this broken commemorative glass. Hell yeah, that's a weapon! Also, your bag got wet. Yeah. No, I don't want to throw the glass away. Right. You wouldn't want to cut yourself. But I want to cut others! Just let me know when you want to leave. Uh... Excuse me, are you talking about Hayden Weber? Safe. Hooray. Safe. Stream. Done. Cool. Continue. You seem to be doing okay. You're a writer, not a doctor. Okay. Turning been sitting here by your side. Oh, Turing, do you want? I cannot offer Turing milk. I 
think I recognize that voice, but I can't be sure. I'm sorry, I, I can't hear you from behind that curtain. Okay, well, I was just trying to have some privacy. Who? Thanks, helpful. Sorry for being a nosy Nancy. Hayden's an old friend of mine, and this sounded all too familiar. Has anything happened to him? Who are- yeah, who? Of course, I've not yet introduced myself. Sus. My name is Dr. Yannick Fairlight, and I'm the founder and former CEO of System One Software, now owned by Parallax. Okay. He is telling the truth, at least as far as I can intuit from information on the MeshNet. And I do recall Hayden mentioning a Dr. Fairlight, at least once in passing at some point. Okay. See, I don't bite. He looks like a man from a Pokemon game. I hate to be the one to tell you, but privacy screens are hardly soundproof. However, if this situation concerns us both, uh, perhaps we can help each other. Dubious. I won't press you for details, but perhaps I could be of some assistance. Hmm? I remember my association with Hayden fondly, and I'd be happy to help in any way I can. Ah, uh, yes. As I've mentioned, Parallax acquired my company, System One Software. Yes. I accepted a CTO position and additionally served on Parallax's board for. What the fuck years. is a CTO? The other directors and I had a difference of opinion about the direction the organization should take. The non centralized data scheme. For most ROMs used today seemed ludicrous at the time. Mm -hmm. We were playing with fire. Dangerous, morally ambiguous fire. And well, we hadn't invented a bucket of water. Okay. So when Parallax's servers were destroyed by hobbyist actors, well... Wait, here's my theory. So, Wonder Boy, that rogue ROM, kidnapped, uh... Hayden to make him into a real man, real boy, to help him be able to do what Turing did. Um, I don't really understand why or how, uh, but that's the theory. Needless to say, it was a PR nightmare. Everything halted until we could get the damage fixed. And since the security that goes into maintaining the integrity of near impenetrable mesh net is astronomically expensive. Uh, we had our share of disagreements. In the end, I was voted off the board and they went on without me. Do I have hard feelings? Of course, who wouldn't? Yeah, fair. In the end, though, it really doesn't matter. I'm an Nothing old rich man really with enough hobbies to last the next two decades. Hayden and I made our acquaintance when the two companies first underwent the merger. Okay. At the time, he was a young hotshot researcher working in the search data correlation sector. He was assigned to find the best ways to integrate Parallax's own collection and analysis tools into System One's LIPS operating system. Okay. He was a bit much to handle at times, honestly, but I admired his passion for the subject. His research? No, not so much. I remember at the time he had interest in advanced machine sapience. That is the realm of science fiction. Is it? He once showed me a prototype of his. Do 
she was quite clever, very convincing, but you could tell she did not contain the spark of life. Is Turing a girl? I assume that you are another of his creations. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. I'm sorry. I didn't introduce myself. My name is Turing. Um, did you say she? Ah, yes. She was quite insistent on that fact over the course of my conversation with her. Huh. Hayden said that she had picked out the color for her casing herself. Pastel pink. Still, I must assume you are far more advanced than she if you are spearheading the search for your creator. Perhaps I should have had more faith in Hayden's little hobby. Do you know what became of her, or where she might be now? Hayden has told me so little of his past research. She is Wonder Boy! I'm sorry, Turing. It was a long time ago, and I'm afraid my memory is not what it used to be. If any of my contacts in Parallax make mention of your uh, erstwhile city, yeah. I'll pass it on to you. Yeah, she kidnapped her creator because she wants to be upgraded, maybe? Like, she wants to become Turing more? She needs the spark of life? Maybe. Hmm. hmm. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. Of course. Ask away. What are you doing here? The chair you find me in is an advanced diagnostic and life support run. Its development is one of my hobbies. So to speak. Hobbies are what's keeping you alive. I'm gonna finish the conversation with him and then wrap up. It monitors my vitals and administers medications as necessary to keep my body stable. I likely would have perished long ago without it. Or at least would have been severely bedridden. Hmm. It requires frequent maintenance. And I'm here to have it examined. There's a particular fellow at this hospital who is the only one I trust to run the correct diagnostics and fine-tune things to my exact needs. Mm -hmm. It's the same way you might get your car serviced, making sure everything's in check. It's too integral to my health to count on just life. Okay, I think comparing this thing to a car is a little outrageous because this thing keeps you alive. Cargo vroom vroom. Unfortunately, uh, many critically injured patients were rushed into surgery all at once. Oh. My appointment has been pushed back. No, why are they critically injured? Oh, it must be from a riot. The hospital administrators placed me here with a resting patient so as not to be disturbed by the chaos outside. I don't think they expected you to awaken quite as quickly as you did. I'm just that good. Ah, I can think of a few ways. I still have some contacts in Parallax and can put out some quiet feelers. Maybe they'll know something. Do it. I will admit, I don't have much to offer until there's more information. Is there anything you can tell me? I'd like to help in any way I can. What did you find at Hayden's apartment? The first time we went, nothing. But when we went back to extract his computer's data cache, the place had been pillaged, and the human revolution had spray-painted slogans all over our walls. I don't have any options. Hayden's computer was gone, and we were assaulted. And now we're here, injured and losing our trail with each passing second. We're still frustratingly in the dark and running out of time. I fear Hayden is slipping out of reach. I am failing him. I'm very sorry to hear that. I wish I could do more. Hayden's company was most enjoyable. What do you want? Prince and Popper alike. Okay, well, I can't do that. But right now, someone I grew very fond of is 
in great danger. I simply wish to see Hayden home again, safe. It's been very interesting speaking to you, Dr. Fairlight. <laughs> Yeah, that's fair. If I'm looking into this on my own, you might as well benefit from it. We both want the same thing, yes? Sure. It's up to us to seize opportunity when it appears. I think I have a lead for you two that will prove most useful. All right. You said you found human revolution slogans spray painted on the wall. Yes, but that was definitely a cover up. I am. Um, Acquaintances with the man leading the current human revolution protests at the Genus Clinic. Sir. I don't... I don't think you're good company to keep then. Or at least you keep bad company. His name is Brian Mulberry. After an introduction from me, he may be willing to shine some light on that particular all right my eye is twitching ah well when i exited parallax i sought out like-minded individuals we worked together to prevent a full deployment of the meshnet system brian mulberry was one such person we did not succeed in our efforts obviously, obviously. Anyways, I'm so smart and psychic. Come to think of it, that event might have been what prompted Brian to take a more radical stance against technology. Ah. But yes, our motivations aligned for one brief time, and I gained his respect from it. Hopefully that can be useful for you. It might be useful. No, no, not in this life. Even if I so desired, I don't think they would approve much of my work. I mean, you are using a machine to stay alive. While Mr. Mulberry and I were associated with each other once, uh, it was before he joined the human revolution. Okay. I find their methodology too aggressive, and their stated goals dangerously backwards. While I pushed for careful deployment of technology, after the Parallax System 1 merger, I am no caveman. Maybe he just looks like Incineroar. After all, I'd likely be dead without the advanced technology that goes into this chair. Yes. I will send a message downstairs to my assistant, Leon Decker. He will hand you one of my cards to prove your association with me to Mr. Mulberry. All right. Make sure you speak to him before you leave. Okay. In the meantime, I'll get in touch with some other individuals I know and try to find out any other information about Hayden that I might be able to pass on to you. Okay. I'll be in contact. It was a pleasure meeting you both. Yes, let's go. Ah, of course. Please. Not let me delay you any further. Wait, I'm in a hospital. Do they have to like check me out or something? Good luck, Turing. I don't think Hayden's faith in you is misplaced. You are an impressive piece of technology. Thank you, Dr. Fairlight. We'll be in touch. Should I call downstairs to have you discharged? Yes. You are one lucky dog. I don't know how to exit this game, honestly. Didn't I tell you to be careful? Yes. You get it now? Yes. I can't be around to pull your ass out of the fire all the time anymore. Okay. I don't even know how I would have handled the board of inquiry or your sister if you'd actually been hurt. <coughs> okay. I'm sorry, Detective Rivers. Our assailant got the drop on us due to my negligence and lack of technical prowess. This is all because of my failure. Blame me. It's my fault. Sure, because the robot fresh off the assembly line is going to know how to handle this kind of thing better than the supposedly hard-boiled journalist you're carting around. <laughs> well, to be...
be honest, Detective Rivers, I think I'll tell you the whole truth, since my friend here trusts me. This is, I don't know how to exit the game, honestly. Keep it under your hat, though, metaphorically. I am no ordinary ROM, but actually a prototype designed to be the first fully sapient machine. I suspect creating me is the main factor behind Hayden's disappearance, beyond his day-to-day -day research for Parallax. Escape isn't doing anything. My name is Turing. Whew. Okay. Hi, Turing. Well, that is a damn bigger problem than you first let on, huh, old pal? The first machine sapient. People are gonna have things to say about that. Yes. Especially the human revolution. Yes. Ugh. This is exactly what I wanted to avoid. You sure know how to get yourself dropped in the drink. I don't know what that means, but yes. Get it together, both of you. Okay. I don't want you to get hurt, and it sounds like you're stumbling into a really dangerous situation. Honest, yeah. Plus, I'm starting to think that you are right. Someone higher up in the department is trying to delay any okay. search into Hayden's disappearance. Here's the story. Apparently, the investigations you ran into this morning were about the lock on the apartment door being reported broken by a neighbor. Mm. The building couldn't reach Hayden, so they went ahead and got it fixed on their own, but the NSFPD sent a bot to check things out and guard the place for a while afterward, right? Standard procedure, treating it as a break-in. Have someone there for when Hayden shows up. Obviously, you and I know there's a bigger story. But when I filled out the missing person report, I was informed in no uncertain terms that I am to wait an entire 48 hours before I can upgrade the existing case. Disgusting. Why? Just on the op- It worked. Escape worked. I fixed it. It wasn't working at first, I swear. Why didn't it save it? Why didn't it keep the same name? Okay. Okay. It's a... Uh, Alright. So, that's where we're gonna stop. Uh, this has been fun. I'm intrigued. Uh, I'm gonna play it again next week. And see what happens. Um, so, yeah. If you want the current... Uh, stream schedule you can go up there also some fun memes on our Twitter uh, YouTube has all of our VODs I'm slowly getting back up to date on uh, putting tags in the VODs and also having thumbnails but yeah you can go there or, um, and if you care about what we do as a company you can go there um, and eventually there will be game reviews maybe mm. alright I will see you all tomorrow when I play ukulele Bye!